boys. Let's go for game number two. Against who? So we have on the blue the vine spanning on the north side of the map. He's going to be playing, of course, the Holy Roman Empire. And on the south side, we have Matisse spawning in as the Rus. And uh, he's going to be going for the very standard opening with the hunting cabin into lumber camp into house. Indeed. I, I do think this is one of those situations where the gold spawned really forward for the vine. So he's going to have a little bit of trouble uh, trying to defend that position as much as he would want to. While on the other side, you get uh, Matisse with a really nice wood line. Uh, protecting his base up in the front and funneling a couple of troops either to one side or to the other. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm trying to see. I'm a seer. I should have fixed a little bit of static I noticed myself. Um, hopefully, that's all fine now. But yeah, so it's kind of sad because, like, you can't see the bounty, but I, I think both of these players is good enough that. Uh, it, um, oh my goodness. Divine should be able to get a... Um, about... I uh, should be getting both their patches, ideally. Uh, yeah. The main thing that is going to cause a little bit of trouble to both players is that they cannot do the strategy of trying to push the deer into the TC when they're building a TC near a, a deer outpost or even just a granary and trying to push the deer into it because they have to kill it immediately. Um, they're going to have to send their villagers into extended runs if they choose to grab those resources later on. And of course, the, the big issue for the Vine at this moment is that he's having to get a second scout. I know the Vine is one of the players that actually doesn't like to build a second scout too, too much. Um, it's resources that he could be using on an extra villager. And not even speaking about the time that it takes to do that, but we immediately see Matisse two minutes thirty and already into the Golden Gate. Two minutes into the Golden Gate, it's kind of insane, honestly. It's like a very, very early edge up. Well, I mean, from what I'm seeing right here, right, he's funneling a lot onto wood. Well, he's definitely not going for a fast castle. Um, but I am interested in seeing if he's going to go for some early knights, being able to harass. Very similarly to how the French does harass the enemy's gold. He's going to be pulling back off of gold. So where are you going with this Ach Chapel? Are you going to be placing it here? Divine? There you go. Okay, so getting the wood line. And to me, this seems like he is going for a second TC. So um, Divine slowly but surely turning into a boomer. Uh, on all civilizations. Which, yep. uh, it's fine. It's it's his favorite gameplay style. He just wants to be able to build as many DCs as he can get away with. Um, but it is certainly going to be problematic to have that gold right up in front of his base. Particularly if we start seeing Matisse go into those knights at the feudal age. Those could be a very big problem to deal with on that, uh, not only on the gold, but also on the stone on the back. If Matisse is able to find that stone line, uh, it's very far away from the TC, enough that, you know, he could get one or two kills there and you don't have the Akin Chapel near, you're not going to have a Prelate near that, so you're just having to rely on, you know, getting the under the TC fire quickly enough, which is not always the case when you're facing Knights. Oh, what is this? This is something I don't often see. A Roost player going for a mining camp on gold. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh... But yeah, so I mean, this is uh, he's going for a second TC as well, which is uh, something I've seen. Uh, Blade, he was doing a lot. Blade five, 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 five. I think I got that correct. Um, <laughs> I think it was uh, oh, Anomaly. I think. Oh, I think that was his name. He was one of the people who in the Discord. He was uh, theorizing and coming up with a very fast two TC build with. The ruse and Blade has actually had a lot of success with that. So, I mean, I, I don't know that build order exactly, but definitely a fast two TC from Mattis here and um, Divine. 
as the Holy Roman Empire, right? Sometimes you usually have, you can accelerate your second TC by having like a prelate or the Aachen Chapel being able to boost up both the gathering rate and uh, did they, yeah, they did drop off uh, the gathering rate of the stone. So um, I'll have to see here though, uh, where it decides to go with the second TC. I would imagine he's going to put it on the gold, yeah. just to make sure that he has access to the gold yeah. and and he's not at any danger there. Of course, that gold doesn't have a lot of gold in it. It is one of the small veins with 4,000. It's, it's not one of the large ones with 8,000 that you can see um, sort of in the center of the map. There is one in particular, and then there is another one on the right side of the vines base, and I would imagine that he has spotted that one. So we're going to see Matisse go for a town center on the back of his base with the wood line down where the deer are. I think that is a pretty safe bet. It does mean that he doesn't have to worry as much for raids since he can wall uh, to the back of the map and then just have that place sort of cut off from the rest. Yeah, this uh, is a very easy wall. I'm, it's a little bit unfortunate that you can't place a TC here, um, but I would imagine uh, but intended you just put a hunting cabin here and uh, you get some extra value out of it. With yeah. that's what it, it's, it's also the case that uh, Matisse is getting professional scouts, so they're going to be able to oh, start grabbing what? the and bringing them survival techniques. I mean, um, oh, okay, I was like, holy, I was, yeah, I was scared getting... there for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't remember the exact icon, but uh, he's going to be getting more from those the carcasses than he would otherwise, which is really nice. When, when you're having to get just a little bit more food and, you, and you're and you trying to delay uh, going into your farming economy as much as possible. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we did see, um, just double checked here, that uh, Matisse did end up buying some of that stone with his tickets. And so, yeah, that's uh, pretty well. And... I am not too sure. I mean, this is a, yeah. This these villagers gonna head out to the boar, as we're talking about. They are gonna get spotted out though. But divine, he hasn't formulated a response quite yet. He's going up with wheelbarrow. There's not even a single military production buildings for anyone yet. Um, although he saw some four. Wait, does hold on, does why is on four? Does pellet count as two? What? That doesn't make sense. Two plus one I is... think, um, anyways, <laughs> yeah, that is an interesting little bug, but we can see that there is a granary going up now from these to get even more of a hunting cabin, I think, uh, to get more of those deers that are spread around the map. And he's going to have an interesting time here trying to keep up with Divine's economy. Divine is getting wheelbarrow now, which is something that Matisse had and he also had the Preller's buff, so for this time being, Divine is going to be able to match up with him quite a bit. So it's going to be very interesting to see what ends up happening here. Wooden Forgers makes a lot of sense to protect that investment, and we're going to have to see how everything pans out. I'm really interested in... that is definitely close, I think. Okay. It's not uh, Just because there's a tree right there on the edge. But I, I am interested in the hidden forest spawn a little bit because you can see that there is like a little bit of a wall that runs all the way from the south of the vines base that is just not giving him vision on anything on that side. So it, it this all of this space below vines base is space that Matisse can just build up and use and eventually get the relics from when he is uh, moving up into the next few ages with the Abbey of the Trinity that we're seeing up right now. And it's going to be built. I mean, I'm actually surprised. I, I can't help to think that this is a consequence of going the early... I mean, it is the uh, horticulture and wheelbarrow so early. Because if Divine didn't go to them, they, he'd probably have both the food and the gold right now to be edging up. So Matisse is definitely going to have H3 earlier, but Divine's going to have a better position uh, or simply be able to get the relics faster due to the fact that he has the parts. Yeah. The main thing is that he only has one prelate right now, so he doesn't have enough to go and look for all of the relics at the same time. Um, so he is at a little bit of a danger right now 
for Matisse having spotted all of the relics and going for the ones that are closest to fine. Oh, that's hurt. Yeah, like as we were saying, right, uh, or as you were saying, Divine doesn't know where all the relics are, only three spotted while uh, something similar to that. Yeah, he does. It, it just doesn't show up in okay, the... Okay, because okay. he has already seen the, the area, so he wouldn't know where they are. Um, yeah, so um, as I wanted to show here, though, Double stable and double barracks going down for divine here in his base, so that uh, that's kind of interesting. I think there's going to be a lot of knights coming in for divine here. He definitely has the economy for doing that. And um, yeah, yeah. We'll have to see. The, the lash connects are gonna be very deadly. Yeah. Once divine is able to put on the full force of his economy forward. He's going to be able to start producing a lot of units really fast and that is something that we've seen in the english mirror that preceded this game is that when it comes time to knowing how many production buildings you can sustain it seems like divine has that on lockdown he understands that once he has a certain amount of villagers he can start producing a certain amount of units every uh, cycle and he's right now just going for those nights back to back to back yeah and it's gonna have to see though, right? Crossbow's already in queue for Matisse here. He's slowly rallying over to. There's a knight here though. So he's gonna. Uh, hmm. Divine's actually gonna be. Interesting. He's gonna be walling himself out of a relic. And. I mean, this is very, very lucky. Uh, for Divine. He's gonna be able to pick up this uh, early knight. So it's not gonna put up much of a fight here. It's just gonna be. No, absolutely not signaling it is going to be a signal for matisse that you know that that was one of those nights that was very low health and he the entire point of that early night's life was to be a cannery on the coal mine yep. until matisse when exactly was divine trying to go for the relic so now that matisse knows he's going to want to try to use his warrior monks to retrieve the relics first yeah and I mean, right now, right, it's it, it really hurts um, for Divine, right? Because he went up with the Regnets, and from the looks of it, because uh, Matisse really did the smart thing, right? He took this relic. I'm not too sure exactly which order, but he took the relics that was most forward and is leaving the ones he he owns, quote unquote. That's on his side of the map. He's basically ensuring the fact that Divine, who went up with Regnets, is only going to be able to get one one relic which it, it hurts it hurts yeah, and you... we can see uh yeah. the vine walling himself off again just like we saw in the english game he's... and just trying to buy himself more time and he's walling himself yep. out of the resources here right it's like why don't you just like build it right here build it right here <laughs> and then you have the deer Anyways, though, armies are slowly starting to build up and quickly just having a quick overview. I can't really help but to think that Matisse actually has the better comp right now. He has a lot of crossbows, which does well into... I mean, he's killing... Okay, it's just... I was about to say, what is going on here? But it's just killing the boar, making sure he gets that extra little bit of gold. But yeah, he has the spearman, he has the crossbows. It's definitely going to be a good fight for Matisse if he ever finds one. And slowly but surely looking around here. Walls going to be built and... This is a really nice thing. All the relics has been picked up now, so... Uh, Matisse is slowly going to be picking up all these sacred sites. It's going to be an even slower but steadier gold trickle. Yeah, I think it is at this point that we're heading into the 7070 side for villagers that we're going to see both players go for a lot of upgrades. We can see Matisse actually just queuing up three back to back to back. This is the time when you start thinking about, you know, getting all of your upgrades in order so that once you hit Imperial Age, you are fully going for it. And oh my God, the vine, get that. There we go. Now no, wait. No, 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 no. Okay, I was going to go. Oh, to the going to okay. <laughs> For a second, <laughs> very scared. Um, so the main point that I was getting across here is that 
getting the upgrades in order so that once you get into the later uh, castle ages and into the imperial age you're going to be able to make use of all of those upgrades once you hit imperial you're going to be able to queue up all of your imperial upgrades and mantis at this point he's probably feeling very confident he has the vine locked away and this is a big difference from game number one in game number one Matisse had no possibility at getting all of the sacred sites and starting to put the pressure of like, you have a 10 minute timer, divine. But this time, this time he can put that pressure on of the 10 minute timer of being locked in a central position on his base. Meanwhile, Matisse is doing what he did against Koinu, which is just, you are gonna lock yourself in, that's fine, I'm gonna expand, I'm gonna take resources from all over the place that are not necessarily on my side, just so that I am denying your side. And here it goes. This the wooden fortress is going to go up though, so it's going to be a nice here. Not nobody jumping into it quite just yet, but it's still providing a lot of value. And here is the fight of the comps here. Does the crossbow have enough though? The lunch connector is here. There's a couple of them mixed in now. Seven for the time being, and the staggered formation is doing God's work right now. Crossbow is going to be cutting back. The trebuchet is going to go down, but at least for something else, the counter, the other trebuchet is just chilling in the bush right now. And uh, Matisse has to be careful not to just give away the position of his buddy here. And uh, while that is happening, he's actually microing some other villagers. And this entire fight was just simply just cleaned up by Matisse here. That was without the use of a wooden fortress to help him out with. And I absolutely, can't, I can't help to think you were talking about the walls. If you just rotated or mirrored the walls and Divine was able to wall off the sacred site, he would be in a much, much, much better position right now because he wouldn't have the timer against him. Now, yeah. he's doing a thing that I really like doing and that is this darn inspired warriors because this thing is broken. I, I, <laughs> it is broken, I'm sorry. You get a bunch of lunch connector that's boosted up, slashing through the front line. Mm -mm. Mm, that's a feast I like to enjoy. Absolutely. Uh, this is this is a classic divine move in a way where he's very much capable of continuing to produce re, uh, units here. I can see the divine not necessarily floating his resources just yet. He's still producing the units that he needs to, and he has a good uh, uh, input uh, of resources. Uh, 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 but this the board's right here. <laughs> but <laughs> no, he wanted wood, not boar. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. I mean, he got a bounty at least. I'll give him that. Emergency yeah, repairs. He... Good old emergency repairs. There's one thing we, I, someone wanted to talk about, and it's the fact that this Aachen Chapel, because of the fact that this is forward and instead of back, this is quite scary with all the farms that's in front right now, simply because. They're in front. They're they're the tank, right? And it's super easy to take this out. If it was in the back, it, all these farms would be safe right now. But right now, it's super scary and super easy to take out this entire farm eco. And I can't really help to think that. Let me see here. There's 26 farms here, and there is 26 wood farmers or wood gatherers. Wood farmers. <laughs> wood farm. Good. A little food farmers. So, um, yeah. if I'm doing my calculations correctly, that means um, if this Aachen Chapel goes down, Divine's kind of screwed. Yep. And, man, the, the timer here is the thing that is going to wreck your nerves if you're in Divine's position a little bit. It's one of those things where, like, I think the more experienced players will feel a little bit more confident doing things like waiting until the three-minute mark, waiting until the two-minute mark to make a push and just neutralize one of those sacred sites. But if you're a new player, if you've been playing on the low elo legends, if you've ever been in a position where you have a sacred site victory timer just ticking away at the corner of your eye, it just becomes that much more of a nerve-wracking moment. Is this on attack round? Matisse, I think. It's on yeah. attack round right now. It's, yeah. But now is the engage, though there's a lot of launch connected, lots of uh, horsemen here. It's going to be a fight, they're going to be running into all of these spearmen, though. It's going to be going into the 
meat grinder and there is the lunch connect that they're doing very very good right now though on the back side though mangonel is going to be taken out it's going to be the only counter we really had to all of these crossbows but they're in the staggered formation and look at them they're just going to be slaughtered down by all these crossbows now horseman is in the mix now the trebuchet is not doing a whole lot of work here right now but they don't need to as the entire army is just soaking up all the damage in the meantime and right now divine just doesn't have any army left the only army no, he has is. is just slowly building up on the backside, but he's just funneling them into the only meat grinder he knows, and it's completely open. Now, this entire prelate, is, or that prelate, is just going to be dead, and this mangonel as well is going to be super scary. He, the little gold he has left that's being generated by that one relic and this one gold mine in the back, it's super, super important to keep them alive now. And these trebuchets... They should be targeting down this uh, Aachen Chapel right now. It would be huge. Look at them now. This entire farming eco from uh, Divine is going to be t shut down and threatened. And it's going to be game number two going over to Matisse, making it a 1-1. One -one. Yeah, we're going into 1-1. One -one. I think big highlights here is, you know, Divine's strategy of keeping his base compacted of just trying to focus on his economy and only responding a little bit to his opponent is good, but he's going to run into problems when his opponent is able to out-economy him. And we can see that with Matisse being able to just produce a lot more in terms of units, be a little bit more proactive when it came time to taking control over the map. And that resulted in a divine that had to build walls around himself that couldn't go and grab the relics at a time when he needed them the most. And then Matisse just simply needed to keep on the schedule, keep putting on the pressure, make sure that his opponent was not able to break through that area. And he absolutely broke him before Imperial Age, which is very important because if um, Divine was able to get into Imperial Age, I think he would have been a lot more powerful in that.